my friends. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh, you guys have been chatting, chatting, chatting. And I know I'm a little bit early, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to shout out a few channels. So if you are in the watching the replay, skip to the three minute mark. Um, it's Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. Lori is finally out of the hospital. Lori, we are so glad that you are back with us tonight. Sassy Gal Prepping in the chat. Who's your prepping nurse? Hey, Sally. Um, USMC. Hi, Amy. Hi, everybody. Um, let's see. Oh, there's me. Um, do, 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 do. Sheila Wixon. Hi, Sheila. Really glad that you joined us us tonight. Hi, JC. Everyone is glad to see Lori on tonight for sure. Welcome back. Hi, Deborah. Let's see. Oh, there's Jules. Hi, Jules. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. It's Lynn Stalker. Hi, Lynn. Glad to see you tonight. Michael O'Brien, hi from rainy Central Florida. I don't know if it's raining where you are, but on my side of the county, it is raining. Let's see, on my side of the forest, Uncle Al is in the house. Hi to the Orlando Prepper. Hello, hello. I'm so glad you're here tonight. And we are going to be talking about bills, 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 and how they are going up and how maybe we can um, share some tips on how to combat that. Let's see, Blessed Mama up in the house. I still have a bit of a scratchy throat, and I have to say some of that is my own doing because I had ice cream today. <laughs> oh, there's Aphrodite, and I don't know if you recognize these, but Aphrodite made these earrings for me and sent them to me, and they are just the prettiest things. And there was another set too, these little pink ones. I can't wait to wear these. I love pink. Not like love, love, but I love wearing pink. It makes me happy. Florida Mama Bear. Hi, welcome, welcome. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Five by five on the sound. Thanks, Lori. I needed that. It's Michelle Moon. How's your puppy doing, Michelle? My puppies are enjoying a bony with uh, Mr. B on the couch and watching Captain America. Uh, Jenny, hi, how are you? And it's the Scottish Urban Prepper. Hi, how are you tonight? You know what? I need to make myself a note to catch up with your channel. Okay. Sherry Sizemore in the chat. And just forgive me as my throat goes in and out. Katie, hi, how are you? I'm so glad you're here tonight. And thank you everybody for coming into the chat and saying hello. It's Alicia Bray. Um, let's see. And Sassy, I'm so glad to see you. I gotta catch up with your channel too. I don't know what this one is. UMP QUA girl. Oh, from Oregon. Wow. Welcome. I'm so glad that you are here with us tonight. I'm just going to run down through. Okay. Oh, Tony's here. Hi, Tony. And Michelle J is here too. And if you're here in the chat and you haven't said hello yet, make sure you do so. Um, thank you to the mods for being here tonight. Super glad that you are all with me. And I am so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for all of you, to be honest. And I'm grateful to be feeling somewhat better. Puppy Tallulah is doing fantastic. She's getting along with the older dog living with her. Oh, so Michelle adopted Honey Bun's sister. So I'm so excited to be able to keep track of her, the rest of her litter mates. Celtic Grandma, hello. How are you doing tonight? Okay, so tonight we're talking about bills, 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 and how people are going to be affording as things go even higher and higher and higher. I know here at the Biggs household, our light bill is normally, um, and you guys are going to be like, how is your light bill that low? Um, our light bill is normally around $120 a month. We have a double wide mobile home. Uh, my son has his own light bill. His light bill has also been going up steadily. He has a single wide mobile home and his light bill has gone up by about $25 to $30. And our light bill has also gone up by about $25 to $30 per month. Um, in 2022, our co-op, our electricity co-op raised the prices 
three different times, $8, $8, $4. And those were just an across the board raising, not of your actual use per hour or use per kilowatt minute or whatever it is, however they calculate it, but more of just a flat increase, like boop, here it is. So times that by all of their different members, because we're members of the co-op. We're not, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway. Hi, Heather. Um, so that's pretty awful. I know a lot of people are really struggling with bills right now. Oh, Florida Mama Bear popping into the chat saying last month, $185. This month, $310. And thankfully right now in Central Florida, it's pretty nice out and we don't use our heat like our systemic heat but we do use systemic AC. And uh, now that I am in menopause, I have an AC in the spare bedroom. And when I get super hot, I go in there and turn the AC down. So we're not having to do the whole house, but it's an issue for real. So we are really getting our, um, you know, getting ourselves together as far as light bills go, because summer is coming and our light bill is already 25 to $30 higher than it was in previous times. So that's not good. I see some people popping in the chat and I would love to shout you guys out. Scottish Urban Prepper, uh, the U in the UK, the government help ends in April. We've all been getting payment over the winter. New average light bill will be 3,000 pounds. Oh, my goodness. That's such a struggle. I'm already reading about people in the UK, especially seniors, which I know you guys call pensioners, who are on um, like a, you know, retirement, how they're sitting in the dark in the evening because they don't dare to turn the lights on, which is just heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Um, let's see. I saw another one okay uh here's jules fake person says uh i we went from 120 this time last year to 190 so we're about 30 dollars up um and you know that's out of a 120 dollar light bill that's that's pretty significant amount our electric bill went up 16 percent this year wow that is crazy. Where are you? Can you let us know in the chat where, where you're calling in from or where you're coming in from? Oh, there's Carrie Culinary Crafts. Hi, Carrie. Her, her, her freezer challenge so good. She was able to use up so much stuff. So if you haven't gone over and seen her yet, uh, her freezer challenge, it was pretty awesome. Let's see. Oh, and we lower it from to 62. There's a lag for me. I don't know if there's a lag for you or not, but there's definitely a lag for me tonight. It is raining and hopefully we keep the internet the whole time. <laughs> Hi, Fred. Fred is here from Maine. Okay. Happy to see you. She says lag. I noticed our winter bills so far have been higher than usual and we aren't turning the heat on. We never got below 200 any month this winter like usual. That's really... That's hard for your budget, for real. That is hard. Okay. Um, thank you all for being so amazing. I have some of the best commenters on my lives, and I rarely have a mod kick anyone out or you know even delete. Uh, yeah, menopause is horrible. Yeah, you are darn tooting about that. <laughs> Um, my bill was one hundred nineteen dollars last year. Four increases to three eighty. Now going down. To 185, I have three months of $64 to make up for overpaid bills. My goodness, did they read your meter wrong? That's just crazy. Yeah, how in the hello are you gonna afford that? Absolutely, 3,000 pounds. I don't even understand how that would work on, especially on a fixed income, but pretty much everybody is on a fixed income if you think about it, but especially if you're a pensioner. I use ice packs for hot flashes right on the back of my neck. Thank you for that tip. I'm going to have to try that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, fake person is in Spark, Nevada. Thank you for letting us know where you're coming in from. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So yarn prepper, 
is on Instagram and she has a great Instagram. You know, I'm still kind of trying to fight my way back from the sickness. So I haven't really been posting on Instagram that much. I need to get that in back into my schedule. I'll be turning out central heating, I'll turning our central heating off next month until we hit winter. We're lucky to have built up a credit over the last year and hopefully we'll be okay. My goodness. You like when you pray at night, you need to pray for those people because that is crazy. I live out in the country, so our trash bill is a separate bill. It went up from $60 to $75 in one month. JC, that is that is kind of what I'm hearing from pretty much everyone. I'm thankful that out here in the Ocala National Forest, we have to haul our own trash. So we have transfer, we call them transfer stations, which really it's a big dumpster that's monitored. And you drop your own trash off. They're open on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Um. Who's your prepping nurse? When my mom was alive, the light bill was around 150 a year. Gas bill at least 120 in the winter. Now my electric is around 80 and gas around 100. Okay, well that's better. Um, I'm sure you're cutting back though. Okay, so she's in Oregon, and my brother works for the power company and said it's going up. At, oh, at least next year too. Wow, wow. I know. Um, they were talking about a propane going up in price. And thankfully, we've stockpiled some propane, but it's going to be, we have propane for our stove. And my brother has propane systemically throughout his house. So his heat, his dryer, his hot water, like everything is gas in their house, including their stove. So that's going to be an issue for them, I know, coming up because they are you know, that that's, they're dependent on it. Electric bill is up $45 this month and we heat with wood. Sherry, that's crazy. I bet you, I mean, that's, that's hard knocks for real, because where does that $45 come from? It doesn't come magically out of the air. It has to be taken away from something else. So where are you like, I know last week on uh, Nene's prepping kitchen said, I've cut so many corners. I'm going around in a circle and, you know, you laugh to keep from crying, but that's the honest truth of what's happening. Blessed mama, our electricity went down last winter. It was over $200. Now it's less than one thirty. Thank God. But our water went up $10. Okay. Well, you know, I know a lot of people are very mindful and cognizant of the fact that maybe they could cut back. And so as the bills are going higher, they are going, you know, to the way of conservation. I know Mr. B and I have, you know, clicked off a few lights that we weren't using or been more aware of the, the little AC. That was a big thing because I'm dying of, you know, hot flashes and I don't want to turn the heat down or the AC down systemically. So I just go in that in the spare room. Um, let's see. Oh, hi, lady. I'm glad you're here from South Carolina. Okay. And I see Fuzz Fork is in here too. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So Lori says, yes, they overcharge my meter. Well, you know what? That's something they that definitely keep your eyes out for. If they're overcharging you, you need to make sure that you are um, being aware, just being aware, man, because everybody makes mistakes. Um. Let's see. Coming in from the Midwest, White Tigress is back, folks. She took a little hiatus and now she is back. Michelle J, our power bill hasn't gone up at all. However, our kerosene is much higher. And, you know, that's another thing, another kind of thread that that is, you know, going through all of the comments is it may not have gone up here, but it's definitely gone up here. And how about everybody's food bill? Can you just jump into I guess the chat's over here. I don't know. The chat's down here. <laughs> Jump in and just let me know how your food budget is going, because I know that's not a utility, but everybody's got to eat. I was in, on an economic live stream and a, oh, oh, OK, well, hopefully we don't have any of that here tonight because I don't really I don't think that's nice. I, we're all human beings. I use a battery operated neck fan for my hot flashes and my garden work. I think I need to get one of those. Those little animal refrigerator packs are great from cooling down. You know what? I'm going to get some of those next time I go to Dollar Tree. Let's see. Aphrodite. Here we go. Um, 
ours went up double to $336 a month. And it's supposedly going up next month again. And we're on a budget. They're not honoring their contracts. And see, I think that's something that we're going to run into next year for real is the fact that number one, the contracts that are expired are not going to be renewed. And then not honoring contracts, just saying like it's an act of God or whatever and not not honoring. Oh, you did? Wow. Right. Weirsdale is um, on the other side of the forest from me. I think I think that's on like the I don't know. I know where Weirsdale is, though. It's nice. OK. Uh, thank you, Yarn. She's reminding people to let the commercials run on all your favorite channels. And you guys know that my YouTube income goes to the soldiers. So as soon as my son comes back to the States, which he's saying they're rumored to come back um, at the end of February, I am definitely buying pizza for all of the staff sergeant's desk and the platoon when they get home because I've missed them terribly. Um, each month was 150 when mom was alive. She kept the heat at 78 lights and TV on 24 hours a day. Yeah. So Mr. B and I are not home all the time. Um, I don't work from home, which is something that I did do for a while in 2021, 2021, the end of 2021. And I did notice that our bill did jump up when I was home all day. Let's see. What else we got in the chat? Oh, here we go. Sherry says, our trash bill went up $8. Not much, but when everything goes up, it hurts. Yeah, and so let me know in the comments over there what you're pinching to get the money to put towards these extra bills. So what are you cutting out? That's a good, that's a good thing. I see a super chat from Tony. Thank you so much, Tony. I really appreciate that. And like I said, everything goes to the troops. So they'll be getting all kinds of prizes and surprises when they come back. Um, right now, they are still over in Poland, as far as I know. I haven't really heard anything uh, in a couple of weeks, which if you have a child in the military, no news is good news. As long as your phone's not ringing, you're good. <laughs> that means he's fine. People are going to be forced to go back to multifamily households. I totally agree with you. I am not looking forward to my children living with me. However, if it needs to happen, you know, my door is open because I'm their mom. I'm going to take care of them. But that's hard. That's really, really hard. And my kids are have been out on their own. I mean, Nathan's in the military, but my other son has been out on his own. So that's, that's going to be hard for him, too. Um. I found it. They just raised the la rates last month. Oh, my heavens. Let's see. Prepping tip. Place your trash in your neighbor's can and save money. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. That will make people angry. Don't do that. So Michelle says we use propane just for heat. Thank goodness. We filled up our propane tank for the stove in January. I have the um, my nose is so itchy. I'm so sorry. I ate ice cream today and I am not supposed to do that because dairy makes me itch all over. And that's, that's, you know, I can have a little bit, but a big scoop of ice cream, not a good choice. Um, let's see. <laughs> Yarn Prepper says we're in the cold. We're in cold Wisconsin. I think that is, but we can't get it higher than 64 and went down to 60 when we're sleeping. Yeah, I was explaining to Mr. B the other day that um, in Maine, where I'm from, you keep the heat at 65 during the day and 60 at night, and then make sure you wrap your pipes so that they don't freeze. Alicia says, our electric is $100 more than this time last year. Wow. So Alicia, where are you pinching when... Um, where are you pinching from to pay that extra hundred dollars? That's my curiosity. Um, Michelle. Oh yeah. Remember that we're off grid. So we don't have power run to our house. That's pretty good. Um, Crisco is nine bucks for that stuff. That's supposed to be cheap. I got, uh, my brother was like, they don't have any uh, butter at Costco. Could you please get some shortening for your pantry? So I did pick up shortening this week. I want to say it was like around $6 for the Walmart brand. Let's see. Oh, Blessed Mama says food budget is outrageous. Sheila Wixon coming in saying they say anything that has 
the little light that stays on like cell phone chargers, computer chargers, take electricity. So unplug when not in use. You're absolutely right. So my little AC that's in the spare bedroom, I do keep that unplugged because it does have that little light on and we unplug a lot of stuff. It drives Mr. B crazy because he'll go to use something. He's like, oh, it's never plugged in. But you know what? I like our light bill the way it is. Oh, that's right. Carrie hasn't bought anything but milk in the last two months. So I'm on a pantry challenge as well. I've been giving myself a $200 budget. So far, so good. Alicia says, we're eating from the freezer and pantry more lately, just getting dairy and fresh fruits and vegetables as needed. I think a lot of people are in that boat right now. Uh, I'm still trying to stock up when I see a good sale. But to be honest, ooh, it is raining, friends. Um to be honest, that's what we're doing right now is a uh, freezer and pantry challenge. I think I will keep that going through uh, March just because I want to make sure everything's properly rotated before our garden, which I am praying is fruitful this year. We're, we're really going to try it. Uh, food budget is way down. Good thing about being in the hospital for a month is that I didn't need any groceries. Oh, Lori, I'm so sorry. Um, a food budget is awful, says Amy, USMC, for real. Uh, yikes, I thought I was doing well at Kroger yesterday, just getting some sale items. Over $88 for a few things and another $130 at Walmart today. So I saw a very interesting, I'm not on TikTok because for me, TikTok is like digital fentanyl. I get so addicted to it so fast. But I do have Instagram reels. So I've been seeing a trend on reels recently where um, folks are showing their haul and then you know people are like there was 85 dollars for four things at whole foods and i don't understand but um that's an interesting trend to be putting on tiktok or whatever it is um yarn says i noticed my budget going up but i prep and i'm just maintaining i did notice sauces are going up did you guys see um i think no i think i posted on my facebook but anyway um it was ten dollars for a thing of hellman's mayonnaise ten dollars i about choked and then they were like digital coupon one dollar i'm like that doesn't help that does not help when you make fifteen dollars an hour by the time you pay your taxes and your you know whatever else your gas to get to your job you can buy a jar of mayonnaise for working for one hour that's crazy town Aphrodite, six ounce chicken strips at Aldi was 269 to 299. In the ad for tomorrow, it is 549. Used to buy them every so often for salad, but not anymore. I can't justify the price. Good night. That is a huge jump in price, man. And you don't even know, are they putting less in the bag? Like, is it also shrinkflation and inflation? Because that burns my biscuits. JC says, if I grocery shop, I would normally would only go up to about 20. Okay, well, that's good. We did well with the utilities by cutting back, but the rates did go up. Yeah, so same for us. You know, do we really, I, I mean, like I work in an office, so I've started um, wearing my clothes more than one time. Like if I'm not sweaty or gross or, you know, whatever, I, I work in a nice air conditioned office and everyone else in my office is menopausal. So we keep it like a meat locker in there. <laughs> So I bring it home, and if I've already worn it, I put a little clothespin on the um, on the hanger with it to let me know that I've already worn it once. So next time I wear it, I can wash it. Yeah, groceries obviously have gone up here too. Yeah, um, I've given the amount of things I buy every payday, and this time the same cost me forty six dollars more at the same store. Wow! Wow! And Michelle says, food budget getting tighter. Coffee is on sale. Thankfully, I checked how many ounces were in the can. Ounces? Well, how do I say that? Ounces were in the can. One was 30.5 and the other one was 24. That's so smart. you got to check that kind of stuff. Big old drink of tea. <clears throat> okay. Heather's got her win of the week early. Um recently reconnected with a really good friend. Oh, yay. I love that. What a wonderful mental and spiritual boost. Have a good night, Heather. I really appreciate you being here and I appreciate your support. Okay. Sassy says, does anyone have the option for your power bill average throughout the year? We did that and it helps. That is a really great 
option to ask for if your utility company has it. And if you're watching the replay, go ahead and put that in the comments down below. Um, Michelle J says it's called budget billing here. I don't know if my co-op has that. I honestly don't know. Uh, five people here, one working from home. So someone's always home. You know, that's a, actually a really good thing to have someone at your house all the time. They can keep an eye on things. Um, cell phone company, change cell phone companies to save money. Good for you. I know we shopped aggressively for car insurance in, um, November when it came up and we brought our quotes to our current insurance company prior to them giving us our new rate. And we're like, listen, if you raise us, period, we're going over here. And they didn't raise us. So I have a feeling that when I'm up in May again, I need to do that again. And it was worth the money, to be honest. It was worth the time to, you know, time equals money. It was worth the time. Okay. Alicia says, cutting out, eating out and plan trips out so that we best use our gasoline, less buying fun stuff, keeping purchases to necessities. So that's a, woo, that's a decrease in quality of life, I think, you know? Less fun stuff. I mean, you can still make your own fun and you can do things that are, you, you know, cheap or free or whatever. But still, man, it's not, it's not, it's not good. After low spend January, I'm allowing myself $75 a week, currently three and an extra $200 a month for stocking and household needs. I have to because this is craziness. I agree. I agree. Our food budget has been $400 for three years. $200 for the basics and then $200 to stock the prepper pantry, which if you followed me for a while, you know, I have a massive prepper pantry and I honestly think I'm trying, trying, trying this year to keep it at 400. But what's happening is the day-to-day -day stuff is costing more and the prepping stuff is becoming less and less and less. So that's kind of, <laughs> to put it in a technical term, it's just, um, I still have two of my four kids here saving for their first home. And honestly, I'm scared for them when they move out in this crazy world. I'm glad that they have a place to be now. And we're just going to pray that, you know, God opens the correct doors and that they are placed perfectly uh, where they where they absolutely need to be. Um, I see yarn prepper. For us, it's budget billing and it's gas and electric combined. In Wisconsin, we would die to have $300 bills in the winter. I know. I know. I can't imagine people living in Maine right now. I know we have a couple people from Maine here in the chat. And I really, um, I would be interested to see what your light bill is. We are just not, we're just buying less. We really need it and not buying anything and staying home. We've been out the last two weekends. It was Mr. B's birthday on Friday. So we did go out to lunch that was budgeted. And uh, we did do a trip to Ollie's. So on my $5 Friday, I'll have some little prepping things from Ollie's and I'll show you our haul that we got. Um, we didn't really buy anything super frivolous. We just kind of bought things that needed to be replaced in our house. Um, we had a really good time and a really good day. And I got uh, my eyes checked. Uh, at the optometrist. So it was, you know, some prepping and some regular stuff. It's 8.30. So if you guys want to put your wins of the week in the chat, I would love to shout you out. Good evening, says Tammy. Our house is multi-generational. It's me, my daughter, her four kids, my son, and his three kids, a total of 10. Oh my goodness. That must be a very busy house. You, <laughs> all I can think is your toilet must flush more times per day. Like if it was me instantly, I would buy another set of toilet guts. A hundred percent. I would have those on hand and ready because that little, that little flushy thing must get flushed a lot with 10 people in the house. Tony says, disability got a raise, so apartment insurance went up. Car insurance went up, rent went up. Food is nuts, and so is gas. So my mom got the increase uh, for her Social Security and retirement, and my dad is currently in a nursing home, and immediately the nursing home raised his prices because he's got Medicaid to keep him in his facility where he is because he does need very advanced care in a dementia ward. And they immediately raised his price due to his income going up. So basically, it came in and went right back out. And that's just how that goes. 
Um, Garden Cat says our electric bill almost doubled in one month due to the rate changing, not the kilowatts used. So that's exactly what happened with my electric co-op was the rate just simply changed. They were like, okay, flat fee, we're raising it. We don't even care about your kilowatt per hour. You know what? You are right. It is an unsettled world. I, I am praying that everybody can just calm down and that we don't actually have a war because that would be, you know, my son is very far from the United States right now. He's halfway across the world. Uh, good evening, everyone. I cut out smoking to save money. I'm so proud of you, Rhonda. Number one, you did a great thing for your health. And number two, I'm really glad that you're able to save money by not smoking anymore. Florida Mama Bear says, all my kids are living at home because there's no way they could afford to move out at this point. Yeah. So um, we own the house next door to us and my son does pay rent, but he, and he's really good about paying. He pays every month, but he knows he's getting a sweet deal. Yeah. But should he need to move here and we have other families stay in the house, that's, that is what it is. It's going to happen. Yarn Prepper says, we stopped buying processed foods. Yeah. And gluten-free processed foods are so flipping expensive. They are just out of sight as far as like we used to buy sometimes about once or twice a month, we would buy the gluten-free pizzas at Aldi. Stop doing that. Um, every once in a while I would buy gluten-free bagels. Those went up to $7 for four bagels. So I was like, you know what? We don't need bagels anymore. I'm sorry. I'll just make our own stuff. It's um, It's just too expensive. I won't do it. Hey, Teresa's house. Glad you're here tonight. I'm, you know what? You're not late. You're right on time. Let's see. Oh, Orlando Prepper's got me on the big screen. All right. I like that. Let's see. Now you can see all my wrinkles. <laughs> I keep hearing other preppers channels talking about the high possibility of an EMP and that alone is a great incentive to enter, empty the freezer. Oh, Mr. B and I were talking about this in the truck on the drive home from my eye appointment today. And <laughs> if that happens, the world is going to be a really different place. Yeah, we were just kind of like, mm. um, you could put power strips and turn everything off when not using them. Hey, great tip. Only shopping sales continue to prep, but rotating everything is possible in the garden is a must now. We are not expanding our garden area at this moment. However, what we're doing is identifying different places in our yard where we can run the rototiller and put some easy crops in. Like um, we have our little lakey thing down there. It's more of a pond, like a grass pond. But if we were to rototill against our fence line, we could put in a row of collard greens and they would just grow. So we could have like some kind of gorilla gardening, which I'm super excited about. Okay. <laughs> That's a nice comment, Fuzz Fork. I'm not going to highlight that one. Hmm. All right. Good evening, Michelle Flo. In my pantry challenge, I've been using whole powdered milk called Nido. Pretty good. Okay. Well, great tip. Thank you for coming in with that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So happy to see you bought mayo today under $5. That's really good. The Hellman's mayonnaise, I about choked. I about choked. I was like 10 Ding dang dollars for mayo. I about died. Um, I noticed the eggs are going down, but fresh veggies are going up, up, up. So if you can grow, we got um, uh -huh. Mr. B, the ever romantic, bought his wife some seeds today in our travels. We went to Lowe's and we got some seeds and I got a lettuce mix. So I was super excited about that because there's so many different kinds of lettuce besides iceberg that are easy to grow, easier to grow, especially here in Florida, because we, you know, every bug on the planet lives in Florida. Um, so I am super excited to put in some lettuces and be able to eat off of those all summer. It got ugly. A lot of people lost EBT and the emergency funding is gone. So yeah, he brings up a really good point because there's been a big, whatever they call it, the CO, that one, the cough, cough. They've been incentives for people who are getting food stamps. They're getting extra money and now that's dried up and that's going to be a big deal, a big deal. Teresa says, I don't grocery shop anymore. I eat from my pantry and just buy what I need to fill in the gaps. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I haven't been to Aldi since November. Okay. Like 
maybe it was December, like first of December, but I stopped going to Aldi because I cannot go in there without stocking up and going crazy. And I've been trying to conserve my budget and eat some of the things in our pantry that need to be eaten up. So when I go back to Aldi, I'm sure I'll give you guys a tour, but it's been a minute. I know they miss me, right? Uh, generic mayonnaise is always sold out. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I'm going to need, um, you know, I'm going to need, uh, mayonnaise by the time I go back. We love mayonnaise. Okay. Sassy gal prepping says using all my shopping apps and reward cards to save money and get deals. You are the queen of deals. If you want deals and inspiration, go over to Sassy's channel and just check her out because she's always shopping somewhere with a little Walgreens deal or a little Ollie's or a little something. I was thinking about you today when I was at Ollie's because we were having a good time in there. Tiny Steakums, 10.5 ounces, $8 and 49 cents. I can't like, I just, I just can't pinch pennies for everything. We don't eat out pack lunches. Just don't buy anything we can do or make ourselves do without or make ourselves. So you guys maybe saw in my uh, Friday video that I forgot my lunch. Okay. So what happened was I was leaving my house and I put my lunch bag down because Dixie was running after the cat. And I, then I got in my car and I left for work. I got all the way almost to work and I realized that I have forgotten my lunch, which has my water. It has my shake. It has my lunch. It has my afternoon snack, my apple, my, the, oh my gosh, I was wrecked. Pull into Publix really quick. Cause it's right by my work. And I'm like, okay, here's my choices. I can door dash because I don't eat fast food. So I would have to eat from a gluten-free restaurant, which would be at least $25 with tip, probably 30 or I can pull into the Publix real quick, get a few things, make myself some gluten-free wraps and have gluten-free wraps for the rest of the month. So that's what I did. And it was an expensive, it was an expensive lesson and I felt foolish. I don't want to say I felt stupid, but I felt foolish because that cost me a lot. <laughs> but still I have, you know, still I have food for the rest of the month too. So I, I think I handled it smart. A little early, but when of the week started my seeds today? Oh, from yay. She's a very smart kid, totally clueless about what's going on in the world. Uh, at least I got her to garden last year. That's good. I only buy sale items. Thank you, Tony, for the comment. Oh, this is funny. Play the Amish Powerball tonight. It's up to seven dozen eggs. <laughs> there have been some really funny memes and things going around about eggs. I mean, laugh or cry. That's pretty much all that you have. My chickens are laying really well now. I'm very happy for them. Out of 12 hens though, I'm getting about four to five eggs a day. And in central Florida, it is warm here. It's beautiful. And we have plenty of sunlight. So honestly, I should be getting more. I'm just happy to get any. Working on cutting costs for my daughter in her apartment. The ch a cheap one is to buy outlet insulators to put on the outside walls. It's a really good tip. Thank you. Fabric softeners on your hangers help them feel freshly washed too. Hey, great tip. Thank you for that. Um, Alicia says, not only are grocery items, where'd it go? Come on now. Not only are grocery items costing more, but the sizes are shrinking. Went today and was flabbergasted. Yeah, so even at Ollie's, I was looking around at laundry detergent because I need to get my stockpile back up on laundry detergent. And um, I was shocked, shocked at how horrible the prices were. Even at Ollie's, I was like, wow. I thank the Lord every day. I have a handy husband who's never been afraid of work. Well, thank the Lord for that. <laughs> Cut back on hot showers. So um, one thing I instituted when I had teenagers in the house was the two song shower. So you put your music on, you start your shower. And at the end of two songs, you get out. And we still do that here at the Biggs household. Uh, we, we do a two-song shower. And if you're feeling skippy and you're feeling rich, maybe you get a three-song shower. But I'm not kidding. It's a two-song shower, which is approximately six minutes. Maybe. I mean, unless it's Stairway to Heaven or something like that. Let's just be real. <laughs> Ours is called Every Pay for Our Utilities. Oh, Michelle. Uh, use cold water when you wash clothes. It's cheaper and it's better for your clothes. We definitely wash them cold. Um, 
let's just take a look. Um, oh, hey, Chris. I looked into budget billing for my gas bill a couple times, and they were going to set my budget amount at the max bill for the previous winter. Now, how is that budgeting? You know, you got to be careful about stuff like that. You got to look out for yourself and find out what is best for your you and your family. I'm just running down through. Okay, so Garden Cat says we're line, line drying clothing not to run the dryer. <sighs> Still praying that Mr. B puts me up a clothesline. <laughs> he, he doesn't uh, He doesn't want to do it. I cut my costs by 20%. That's good, Uncle Al. I haven't canceled cable yet. Calling them can be helpful. They often offer newer savings plans to keep you. Right. And, you know... Um, I had called earlier in the year because we kept having outages in our internet. And I said, listen, you know, I run my YouTube channel from my home. I work from home sometimes. I really need a reliable connection. Can you please help me? Not only did they give me a credit for every single time my internet was out over four hours, they lowered my monthly bill for two years. And I just was super nice. And the lady was like, thank you for not yelling at me. I'm going to do my best to save you some money. So being kind went a really long way for me because I was paying like around $88 for our monthly internet and I got it down to like 60 bucks, which is great. And then um, we're going to cancel Netflix. Yeah, we're going to cancel it. We don't watch it and we have Amazon Prime. It was either cancel Prime or cancel Netflix and we picked Netflix. Do, 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 do. Let's see. I am in New Hampshire, Garden Cat. That's where my family lives, or the rest of my family. Uh, I use a drying rack next to the wood stove in the winter. Aren't those handy? My mom had one of those when I was a kid. I just loved it. Oh, there's 100 people in the chat. Hey, I'm so happy. That's always my goal. I have a wash line, but in Wisconsin, our season for hanging is short. Yeah. Hi, Simply Smallwood. Late enjoying tonight. No worries. Oh, shop your insurances. That's a really good for your homeowners, especially. Um, we shopped our car insurance. We mentioned that earlier, but that's a really good tip to help cut back your costs. Okay. Let's see. Um, so if you guys, oh, wait a minute. We're loading more comments. Here we go. I'm looking for some wins of the week. Do, 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 do. Running your washing machine through a second spin cycle lowers your drive time, uh, your drying time. That's a really good tip. Um, oh, Tammy says, fortunately, we have two bathrooms. That's back to the comment about the, I still would have the toilet guts put back, my friend. <laughs> that, that scares me. 10, 10 bodies using the bathroom. Okay, here we go. Win of the week time. We're a little late, but that's okay. Michelle Flo, win of the week. Six pack bottles of Pepsi products, $1.99 each limit two. All right. I'd have to say that our win of the week last week was Mr. B paid off his surgery from 2021. He made the last payment on it, and I was so proud of him. Win of the week this week. I don't know yet. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. I did get my eyes checked. I feel like that's a win. Uh, continuing to bake all our bread at home instead of buying it. Got another 50-pound bag of whole wheat flour. Good for you, Florida Mama Bear. I am excited for you. I love home-baked bread. I'm going to be baking a double batch of gluten-free bread this weekend. Uh, win of the week. My husband started a new work contract and we finally got our solar panels. Hey, that's awesome. Lori's win of the week is not dying in rehab. Well, you know what? That is a win. And we're so glad that you're still here. My goodness. Oh, I'm so happy that you're out of the hospital and back to normal. It was so great talking with you the other night. Okay. Win of the week. I saved $60 on my normal grocery budget going to Dylan's or Kroger. Okay. Rhonda Allen had a win of the week and someone said, oh, that's for the cigarettes. We're all so happy for you. My goodness, that's wonderful. Uh, what do you think next year will be worse? You know what? Let's do next week's live on that. How about that, Margaret? So what do you think? Because I have the brain of a peanut right now. Will be worse in 24. 
There we go. Boop. There's my notes for tonight. Win of the week. Three more bottles of amoxicillin put back. Yay. And I don't know if you guys saw it, but over on the Poplar Report, Steve Poplar said recently that they're going to ban the fish antibiotics. So if you have fish and you need to get antibiotics for them, I'm not recommending those for any other use other than fish. But if you have a tank full of fish and you need fish antibiotics, I would suggest getting those now. And that is on my prep list for next month for sure, because they're going to be illegal starting June 1st. So I want to make sure they are in my position for my fish if you get my drift. <laughs> Win of the week. Took my granddaughter to Barnes and & Noble's and we found a $40 bread book for $10. Oh, she's 13 and she's really into bread making. I want to foster that love for her. That's wonderful. What a great skill. Oh, hey, Kendra. Um, oh, Kendra sent me this book. Thank you so much for that. And she got it at a thrift store, which is even better because I love presents from thrift stores. That's my favorite. Okay. Uh, three adult children living here. It's just impossible for them to save a dime. I understand. I understand completely. Win of the week did a lot of research on essential oils and made a mixture to help a friend with tinnitus and it works. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I'm so excited for that book for you. We saw so many great books at Ollie's today. I didn't buy any of them, but man, I wrote down a couple of them. Actually, I took pictures. I didn't write it down. I took some pictures of some of them to see if I can get them from the library because I'm cheap. <laughs> Just got done baking zucchini bread and muffins. Oh, Mr. B would be in love. He loves a good zucchini bread. Has anyone tried affordable connectivity plan through their Wi-Fi carrier? Apparently, if you qualify, you could save $30 a month. Well, that's a great tip. Let's see. Y'all complain about high prices and bills. <laughs> I believe that it is death by a thousand cuts. I predicted that in 2010. And I believe that we, uh, you know, we've received about 900,000 cuts. It's been more than a thousand cuts. It's death by a million cuts. Hey, Celtic Grandma, I quit smoking the vape. Too expensive. And great for your health that you quit, too. It's Village Homestead. Greetings from Central New York. Hello, my friend. How are you tonight? Okay, so this is a concern that we have. Uh, all the gardeners will see more garden robbers. Think ahead. That's a plan that we have right now. And without, I mean, we don't reveal everything on YouTube, but that is something that we are definitely concerned about is people stealing uh, chickens, people stealing eggs, and people stealing out of our gardens. And we do have someone on the premises at all times. There is someone here all the time. However, rather than go up against a hungry meth head, I would rather have some protocols in place without giving everything away. Here we go. Gifted a large paper bag full of carrots. Alicia, that's awesome. That's a great win of the week. A great win of the week. <laughs> yeah, I saw that about the um the pew pew on the um on that unidentified thing. I saw that, Kendra. Um win of the week. Thank you everyone. It's been 4 weeks not smoking now. Yay! I'm so happy for you. I think that's the best win of the week we've got so far. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid to use too much of our preps, but not and not keep adding to the stash. I agree with you. I agree with you. All right. We're rounding the corner. Y'all have been amazing, Bait. I am so thankful I have the best community. As far as mayo goes, make your own. It's not that hard. I'm I'm with you. I am with you. I don't do it, but I need to. Um, another win of the week. I got five boxes of stuffing at Kroger for 12 cents a box. Yay, Lori. Lori, look at her. She's out of the hospital for less than 24 hours. She's already making moves. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but on the Bigs Homestead Kitchen channel, I did a recipe recently. We're doing recession-ready recipes once a week where I am using vintage cookbooks from the 90s and early 2000s to create recession ready recipes in every week. So we're trying a new one. And a lot of it is shelf stable prepper pantry 
ingredients or ingredients from your freezer. I post those every Monday at 7 15. All right. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The cheap sandwich bread I always get from my 99 cent store was 99 cents, then 29 cents, then $1.99. Oh gosh. Tater wanted to come and say hello. Everybody was in the chat, Tater, and you missed it. Poor Tater. Uh, I'm blessed with a very large garden, so I don't need to buy veggies since last spring. I was in sticker shock. I know. I paid 80. What are you doing? I paid 89 cents for one green pepper the other day, and I about croaked. It might have been 79 cents, but I think it was 89. Even still, just a dime. Come on. Come on. All right. What are you doing? Huh? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Win of the week for Carolyn Cusack. Place an ad on the Nextdoor app looking for mason jars, if anyone might have any that they were willing to part with. And someone answered, and I picked up 150 jars. That is a huge win. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tater, you're not going to get any snacks up here. Mm -mm -mm, you're not going to. Okay. So this watcher says, I'm so prepping like crazy. I don't think in our world, things in the world are going to get better. Okay. Yeah. I, we, I don't know. Win of the week picked up several flower pots that someone put on the curb for trash. Yay! I love it. I love it. I love using other people's trash. Oh, I guess that would be a great win of the week. Number one, Mr. B turned in a uh, trailer full of scrap metal and got $68. Woohoo! And he got a ton of pallets, which is going to play into our new security plan for garden and chickens is all the wood from busting up all those pallets. I'm so proud of him. He He's like me. He'll scrounge anything. <laughs> Sally says, thought you should know what a bad influence you've been. I love your recipes. I've been buying more cookbooks at thrift stores. Yay. I don't think that's bad. <laughs> I mean, I don't, but you know. I have been called a bad influence before for candy and other things. Oh, just in case. Glad you made it. Hey, everybody. Um, there are valves you can inst install on your shower head that will cut the water off while you soap up or shave. Hey, that's a great tip. Thanks, Sassy. That's a good one. Okay. I am looking for win of the week. Happy to see you uses an umbrella clothesline in our patio umbrella. Hey, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, my gosh. 97 watching and 63 likes. Y'all, show me some love. We're having a good time in here tonight. And thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate you. All of my um, YouTube revenue goes to the troops. Okay. Uh, Kelly S. says, we have a couple of folding clothes racks that we use to dry clothes. Thought it, did, though it did work better when we had a patio that actually got sun and wind. You know, y'all are inspiring me. I need to look at patio Patio laundry racks. Mm-hmm. That's what I need to look at. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, win of the week number two. I'm going to be teaching a class on water bath canning for newbies. Oh, my gosh. That would be like a dream for me. I would love that. Well, you know what, though? Kind of on YouTube, I can teach a class anytime I want. <laughs> my mom, I have, oh, okay, a, dry, a wood, wooden Dry rack. Oh, a wooden dry rack. There you go. Thank you. All right. Aphrodite said, cancel Netflix over a full year ago. Farmer's insurance has been the best. Um, so that's good. That's really good. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I noticed at my stores, Tammy says, sugar, flour, and our four-pound bag instead of five. I know sugar's been a four-pound bag for a while now, but Flour go into a four pound bag. Mm. Win of the week, finished canning 11 pints and found scent free dish soap for $1.19 each. And we bought 15. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, Lady Prepper got to connect with wildlife for the first time and I got to see it. A deer ate out of her hand. Oh, what a beautiful gift from God. You're absolutely right. Oh, uh, got a Back injection, now pain-free. Yay. Looking for a dough bowl. 
found two. Hey, it was a gift from mom. I love it. Sally, what a wonderful present. And I know your mom has passed on. So um, that's, that's nice. You can think of her when you use it. Um, sneaking in to watch. Yay. Thank you, City Girl Homestead. I'm glad to see you. Okay. So here we go. Just in case, win of the week. Got chicken breasts boneless for $1.99 a pound. Wow. I haven't seen that price in a long time. And got your solar panel. That's pretty good. All right. Running down through the wins of the week. J. Ray. Turkey, 25 cents a pound. Wow. Small grocery store in Nebraska. Got three of them and canned them and let all my friends know. I have two turkeys in my freezer. Yeah, so it's not just the fish. It's all. I know. I know. I know. And a lot of, um, you know, homestead people use antibiotics all the time. Grateful to have a Mennonite run grocery store. Saves us a ton of money and we can and dehydrate our bulk buy. Thank you, Kelly. What a great comment. Glad that you're here tonight. I think you might be new to us. And so I am happy. Okay. Teresa's house down 28 pounds, getting healthier and more fit. My goodness. What a wonderful thing. Um, Alicia, if you want to email me your question, we can, um, we can chat about that and maybe I'll post it on the community page for you. Win of the week from escape artist for 88 for a 10 pound chicken hindquarters. That's pretty good. Got three of them and canned them. Store special 99 cent for bone in ham. I don't know if y'all saw my freezer clean out on my other channel, uh, the Biggs Homestead Kitchen, but I will tell you something. I have an obscene amount of ham in my freezer. I did not realize quite how many packages of ham I actually have. So we're going to be doing some ham forward recipes on the Biggs Homestead Kitchen coming up. <laughs> Win of the week for Tammy, boneless skinless fresh chicken breast was $1.77 a pound. Wow. What a great price. All right. We're running down to the end. I'm trying to get through all the wins of the week. Do, 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 do. I see some. Okay. Oh, Michelle. I'm glad to be your favorite bad influence. <laughs> Timbuktu Pond, win of the week. I purchased an electric canner and canned seven pints of potatoes. Congratulations. Oh, hey, it's more than conquerors. Hey, pal, how you doing? All right, I got four minutes. I love all of you. If I missed your win of the week, I'm sorry. Win of the week, canned some ham and bean soup, did an inventory, got a truckload of pallets and a roof frame that has metal roofing on it. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. Um... Oh my goodness. You all have been so amazing. I am very happy that y'all were so nice in the chat tonight and that everybody got a chance to talk. Garden Cat, win of the week number two, picked up thrift store men's shirts for one to three dollars each and it's enough fabric to make two quilts. Hey, I love it when people repurpose things that from a thrift store and make it into something new, beautiful. Um, Let's see. Looking. Oh, hey, Nene. I'm so glad you made it. I am making Nene's donuts tomorrow. Nene posted on her Facebook a recipe for donuts. I will shout you out in the video, but I am making those tomorrow. And I'm so excited for powdered donuts. And I'm going to make them gluten free because you know me. All right, my friends. I love you all. I'm so glad you came to hang out with me tonight. I will see you next Saturday. And next Saturday, we will be talking about what do you think will be worse in 2024. So get your comments ready. And thank you. All right. I'll see you next Saturday. I'll see you on Monday for the Biggs Homestead Kitchen video. I'll see you Wednesday for my planned video. And I will see you on Friday for a $5 Friday. And then I'll see you next Saturday. Bye, everybody. I love you. Bye.